Hi there everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this absolute beginner friendly bralette raffle top. I highly recommend you check in the free link in the description box below so that you have access to all the other seven different sizes that are available for this very same pattern. I will be making a size medium in this tutorial. I thought I was making a small but it turns out it's actually a medium. So if I happen to say small in the tutorial, ignore that. It's a medium. As for size extra small to three extra large, the sizes are all available for free. Find the link in the description box below together with the paid version. Let's get into this tutorial. With your 5mm hook and your waisted weight yarn, you're going to make a slip knot just like that. If you're making a size small, like I am, you're going to start by making a chain of 26. So I'm just going to go on, finish making that chain and I'll meet you right back. And now, into that second chain from the hook, you're going to be going in with a half double slip stitch. And we'll be working into the back bumps. So into that second chain... Go in there into the back bumps and place your half double slip stitch. So to place a half double slip stitch, you start by yarning over as if you're about to do a half double crochet. Insert your hook into that stitch, wrap the yarn, pull it through, and then you're just going to slip stitch it through everything. Yarn it over, insert it through that uh, through the chain, wrap your yarn over, pull through, and pull through again, just like you're doing a slip stitch, just you're yarning over. Just like that. So I'm going to continue doing this until we have a total of five stitches left of the row. And then I will meet you there so that we can do our slip stitches. So you go and continue doing that until you've got five stitches at the end. Then we'll meet and then we'll finish off with the slip stitches. And then I'll show you how we're going to continue from here on. So I've made my way all the way down and I've got 5 chains left, so into those 5 chains, still working in the back bumps, we are just going to slip stitch, because this is where our band is going to be, or where our band is going to form, and then into that last stitch, go ahead and finish off that row with a slip stitch, just like that. To begin the second row, we'll be chaining 1 and turning, and then from here onwards, we'll be working into the back loops only. So into those back loops, go on, slip stitch into the first five. If you want, you can bring through a stitch marker, but I feel like the stitches are so little for me, um, I won't get lost, I'm going to know. And five, just like that. If you want, just so you don't have to keep counting each time you come back down, just go on and place a stitch marker in there. And then from here on, we're going to go on, still in the back loops. Continue placing the half double slip stitches all the way until that last stitch. So you go on, go all the way up, and I'll meet you after I have um, reached the last stitch with my half double slip stitches. So after you've gone back up, after you've reached here, if you're doing your size small, Go on and chain 16. And then you can place a stitch marker right there because from here on we're going to make more chains and we're going to make 19 chains for size small. And you can go on and double check if you've got the correct amount, but I was counting as I was chaining. So, into the 19, remember we just made 19, but since we're going to be skipping the first chain and into the second, so we're going to work into the first 18 chains, or before the chains before the stitch marker, we're going to go in placing uh, stitch slip stitches. So I'm still working to the back bumps. Go in and place slip stitches into all the stitches until that stitch marker. So we're just going to place back slip stitches into the back bumps just as we were doing earlier. So let me get into the place where you should have your stitch marker and I'll meet you right there. So I've just gone down into 18 stitches, placed my stitch marker and now into that 18th stitch I will go ahead and place my stitch marker. 
just like that. And now from here on into the other stitches, still working to the back bumps, go on and place half double slip stitches. And you're going to place this into all the chains that you made. So I'll be placing into all 16 chains that I made. So let me just finish up this, finish up the chained area and I'll meet you once I get to the main work. And then once you reach the rest of the work, you just continue to work into the back loops, placing slip stitches, half double slip stitches, sorry. So from here on, I'm going to continue placing these half double slip stitches going down. Once I get to the bottom, when I reach the slip stitch area, I will remember to switch to a slip stitch. I will chain one, turn my work, go back up until I reach uh, the stitch before the stitch marker. Once you get there, you will chain one, go back down. So let me just explain that again. I'm going to go all the way down as we've been working. Remembering to slip stitch where I should, chain one, work back up, get to the stitch marker or the stitch before the stitch marker, chain one, work my way back down, chain one, and come back up. As I'm coming back up the third time or the second time, I will leave four stitches before the stitch marker. So I'll make sure that I meet you before we get there so that I can just show you how you should do it. One more time just to explain this. You'll come down, chain one come up, chain one, come down, chain one, come up, leave four stitches before that stitch marker. So you go and do that and I'll leave you, I'll meet you once we've um, got them four stitches before that stitch marker. So here we are, I've just made my way back up and I've stopped four stitches before the, um, the end of the row. So once you get there, let's just count together, there's one, two, three, four stitches. Just going to make a chain of one, and turn and half double slip stitch going downwards just like that so once we get to the bottom of the work we're going to chain one turn come up and we're going to stop four stitches before the top again after we do that we're going to chain one go down chain one come back up and stop four stitches before the top we're going to keep on doing that until we've reduced four stitches at the top to a point where we've got the number of chains that we begun our work with which is 25 or until your work has leveled up with the beginning so you want to make sure that you have a whole if you're doing so small that is you're going to have 25 stitches left down here just like this side. So it's pretty much just going to level with um the beginning chain of this side. If you're doing it the larger or smaller size, you want to make sure you keep um leaving four stitches at the top until the number of chains you begun with at this this side or the number of chains that you have this side is the very same number of chains you want to be left with this side. For size small, we're going to continue reducing those four until we've got a total of 25 stitches left on this side. So continue Work down, chain one, come back up, leaving four stitches. And as you do that, you're counting down until you have a total of 25 left. So I'm going to keep on doing that, and I'll meet you once I've got those 25 stitches left. And so after decreasing that many rows, uh, here we are. I went down, chain one, and came back up. So just pause the video after you've decreased until you have 20 stitches, or whatever number of rows you're doing, number of stitches you're doing. Chain one, go back down, and then come back up, and come up all the way into that last stitch. So pause the video and go and do that pretty quick, and you can meet us right back. So after you've come back, you just want to half double slip stitch all the way. Just like that. And now, what we're going to do is start half double, slip half double slip stitching into these four stitches that we were leaving out. To do that, yarn over, skip all of this, and come right direct into that first stitch right there of the fourth. Just like that, and then into that other 
Frage vor. And the next set of four. And finally, that last set of four, if you're doing a size smaller guy up. If you're doing any larger size or smaller size, you can pause the video, finish off, and then you meet us right back at the top. there we are so from here on laying the work down this is what it should be looking like so what we're gonna do now is remove that stitch marker into where the stitch where the stitch marker was go in with a slip stitch and slip stitch through all the uh, rows of the shoulder portion once you get to the top of that work, of your work, chain one, turn, slip stitch back into where that stitch marker was. So after that stitch marker, you want to replace it back in there. I would do that. So you want to slip stitch all the way back down. After you get, to, after you slip stitch into that last stitch where the stitch marker was, you're going to have to put slip stitch down, all the way down to the bottom of your work. You're going to chain one, come back up and you will stop, um, and you will stop where this before the stitch marker. Let me just put that back, that stitch marker, for the sake of teaching. There we go. So, I'm going to go up, slip stitching to the shorter portion, chain one, come down slip stitching into the stitch marker. From the stitch marker here, you will have to pull slip stitch all the way down. Once you get down, you will chain one, come up, and to that stitch before the stitch marker, and then you will chain one and go back down. So let me just slip stitch up, slip stitch and have to push it down and back up again and I'll meet you there. So after I went up and came down, I came up, stopped before the stitch marker, came down and now I've come up again. Now this time we're going to stop four stitches before uh, the end of the row. Chain one, chain one and we'll turn and we'll have double slip stitch going down. We're pretty much repeating what we did earlier. And you're going to have double slip stitch all the way down. After you get to the bottom, you're going to chain one, uh, come back up, but you're also going to stop four stitches before the stitch marker. You're going to do this up until you have again the same number of stitches that you started with at this side. So I'm going to continue leaving four stitches at the top, four stitches at the top, all the way until I have a total of 20 stitches left on this side. So once you've done the row where you've uh, got the 20 stitches here, um, left on this side, you're just going to chain one, come down, chain one and come back up. I've already done that, so just pause the video and do that right now. I'm assuming you've already done that now. Um, so to proceed with the rest of the work, just as we did earlier, we're now going to have to put slip stitch into all these chain fours that we um, left out. After we've done that, we'll slip stitch through the rest of the work. Chain one, slip stitch down into the stitch marker, and then half double crochet back all the way to the bottom of the work. So you just go and quickly do that. From here on, you just want to yarn over and half double crochet into all the fours that we left out. Like that. So you just want to half double crochet into all of them. Once you get to the stitch marker, you'll slip stitch up, chain one, slip stitch to the stitch marker and half double crochet and everything else. Remember to slip stitch at the bottom band. After you reach there, chain one and half double crochet into 20 or whatever the beginning chain was like. Or oh, that was, yes, that would be 20. 
um, slip stitch into into five and half double crochet into 20 a total of 25 so you go on and do that i'll do this off camera since i've already shown you guys how to do this and then i'll meet you after i have gone up come down and gone up into 25 so i've just worked my way up to the 20th stitch or 25th and there we are so from here on we're gonna treat it like we're here again we're gonna chain 16 place a stitch marker and then chain 19 and then everything what we're gonna do for the rest is pretty much repeat a repetition of what we just did here you're gonna go up with a half double slip stitch sorry you're gonna come down to the slip stitch and then half double crochet row chain one come up half double crochet onto the stitch before the stitch marker chain one come down and then continue with the fours if you for forgot you can just rewind to the part where we had just um chained 16 plus 19 and just repeat everything that we did from then and finish off the row after you've completed everything don't forget this part where you come up into the 20 stitches pretty much all you're doing is this very same thing over again to do the other side of our crochet bralette or crochet top so you go on i'm gonna get off camera and do that and finish off so you go on and do that and i'll meet you when you're done and once you're done, this is what your work should be looking like right about now. So all you're going to do is chain one fast enough cut and then repeat the same thing again to make the back panel because both panels will be made the exact same way. So go on, do that, repeat the same thing, make the other panel and then I'll meet you so that we can now put the pieces together, seam the sides and seam the shoulders and have our crochet bralette and so after you've done making both panels the front and the back you want to take the both panels and lay them on top of each other just like so and then you want to take your yarn needle or whatever or a crochet hook if you prefer to connect your work with that and sew these two pieces of the shoulders together this side as well as this side so you go on and do that neatly after we're done we'll be turning the work inside out but before we get there just make sure you sew properly the shoulders you can just go into each um each side slip stitch row on the shoulders and then you can just connect using the stitches on this side the same for the other side so you go ahead do that and i'll meet you right after i'm done so after you're done connecting, I've just turned the work upside down because now we're going to go around the bottom, the side slip stitch rows at the bottom. We're going to go around placing single crochets in each and every stitch or every row. So how you're going to tell the rows apart is every ridge is a row and every braided or ribbed is a row. Bridge is a row and every rib is also a row. So I'm just going to find the beginning of your work. Connect your yarn. And place a single... Oh, let's do that again. That's going to be our first single crochet. So I'm just going to work over this tail. To minimize um, putting things together. So this rib is my next row. So I'm just going to go on the side of it. And then right here to represent the ridge the next rib into there and then the ridge just like that so you're gonna go all, all the way around your work placing single crochets and after you're done you're gonna come around back so that we can now begin working on those ruffles so after you've made your whole way your way all around you want to slip stitch into the first single crochet you made. I've already done that. And then you want to chain three. And then into the same stitch as you slip stitched, you want to go in with a double crochet, chain two, into the very same stitch, go in with two other double crochets. Just like that. You skip the next single crochet into the other one two double crochets chain two two double crochets just run out of here let me reconnect my yarn 
so and the second double crochet you skip one single crochet into the other one two double crochets chain two into the same stitch two double crochets so you will proceed like this all the way around your single crochets and when you get to the beginning I will meet you there I've just done a few and you can already see my ruff ruffles ruffles starting to form so you can see, continue like that when I make my way around I will meet you right back so that I can show you how I'm going to connect the row and begin a new one so after you've gone all the way around and you've come back to where you began working on your um working on those little ruffles you are just gonna slip stitch into the two chains at the top or the two double crochets at the top just like so so you slip stitch into the first and then you slip stitch into the second double crochet top and then you make that final slip stitch into that chain two space just like that and then just how we begun this row you're going to begin by chaining three and then placing two double crochets a second double crochet so that chain three counts as a double crochet and that second chain two counts as a second double crochet then you're going to chain two and back in there place two more double crochets just as we've been doing so there we go that's your that would be your second but it's my third row of the ruffles and then you're going to skip into the next chain two space you're going to do the very same thing two double crochets chain two and back in there two more double crochets just like that and then into the next chain two space two double crochets chain two and back in there with two double crochets and that's what we're going to keep doing and you're just going to keep going around placing two double crochets chain two two double crochets into the chain two spaces when you get to the end of the work this one all you're going to do is slip stitch into the top two double crochets and the chain three cha and the chain two space and then you're going to chain two and pretty much repeat what we've been doing right here so you're going to keep doing this for as long as you want your top to be because i know this bralette is just going to be it's going to be pretty much like a bra so depending on how long you want your top to be if you want it to cover up quite a bit you just want to continue making rows of these ruffles if you want to dress you can just keep making this as long as you want as for me i'm going to make about eight rows of these ruffles or six to eight rows whichever i find comfortable with and then i will meet you right back to show you what it looks like at the end if i don't guys i hope this tutorial was really good so be sure to like subscribe if you're liking this and pretty much make sure you like so let me just continue finish this and i'll meet you right back